What we're doing is we're developing a prototype flying 3D printer. Essentially what we've done is we have separated uh, your 3D printing extruder um, from a 3D printer and we've attached it to the bottom of a multi-rotor craft. In our case, we're using a hexacopter and we've also started from the ground up with the extruder and have 3D printed our own components to make our own concrete extruder. We see a lot of different applications for something like this. Um, for disaster relief purposes, uh, something like this could be sent out to an area that was just stricken by a natural disaster where roads and bridges are knocked out and um, they're cut off from traditional means of um, rescue. Some of these can be sent out and used to construct rudimentary shelters. So the people that are stranded can then focus on finding their loved ones, food and water, and they don't have to worry about the shelters. And how long would it take to actually build any kind of rudimentary shelter? Look, 3D printing is slow. 3D printing in a conventional sense is very slow. You're printing a very, very fine amount of material um, and layering that very slowly. Uh, with something like this, we're printing a much larger quantity of material in one fell swoop. Whereas a 3D printer, a layer might be a tenth of a millimeter, for us, our material could be coming out at one inch thick. To build, let's say, uh, an eight foot by eight foot shelter for disaster relief purposes, um, it doesn't need to last forever. It's just there to provide shelter for a short amount of time. Um, I see something like that taking probably about a day to print. What are the challenges that you're facing? One of the biggest challenges that we're going to face as we continue to develop this prototype and realize its potential is the limited carrying capacity and payload capacity of um, drones today. And moving forward, we think that this, there's going to be an opportunity to team multiple smaller MUPs together. So you can have one MUP that's specialized in just depositing the material and flying and printing, while other support MUPs are flying around, gathering materials, bringing them back to the printing MUP and depositing those material. Think of it like mid-air refueling that we see um, military jets doing today.